and on yesterday's form you can see why. Although Chester did make an early impression, Matt Doughty's volley had goal written all over it. Roger Freestone, though, isn't one for sticking to the script. His excellent reaction, keeping Swansea on level terms. And when they created their own chances during the first half, they tended to come Jason Price's way, which was unfortunate, really, since he'd left his scoring boots at home. The two men who settled things Swansea's way were Nick Cousin and John Coates. This was just the rehearsal. Coates choosing to go in alone instead of looking for the return ball. He was pretty close, too. Next time around, though, and from a little further out wide, Coates delivered the goods. No secret that he's got a great left foot. Nick Cusack's not a bad header of a ball either. Swansea's captain didn't have the widest of margins, but he angled his effort well enough to catch Chester keeper Wayne Brown unawares and scrambling in vain to catch it. Chester could have snatched the point, but when the ball comes back off the post from a yard out, you can safely assume that it's someone else's day. That someone yesterday was John Hollins, who's taken some unwarranted stick from his own fans recently, but still finds his side well placed to make a promotion challenge if things start to click on a more consistent basis. <laughs> yes, that timely victory takes Swansea up to 10th place in the third division, just a point behind Plymouth, the side in 10th.